They've made their adjustments, their changes, and we'll see if it pays off tonight against Georgia Tech. Clubs and Tigers in the traveling orange and regalia. And Georgia Tech in the gold, blue, and white. That game for Georgia Tech. They'll work the shot clock down to six. Wright will have to shoot it, and that's a two. Just inside the line from Moses Wright to get the scoring started. Going in the ACC three games, only averaging nine points. And the things you'll see about Georgia Tech is that they're going to throw a lot of different looks. You see Sims knock down that jump shot as well. Alvarado trying to get around Sims. beat his man to the basket that last time a beautiful setup to get Moses right off to a good start How about a long distance straightaway three and it is good look to penetrate and look for their offense as they set the teammates up too and you know Dawes did not have a point in that loss against Virginia and that's his teammate they've made a couple of threes Brian they went five of 23 from beyond the arc right He got fouled. Of these three games, you see him wrestle the ball from Clyde Trapp and then the finish for the and one. Earlier on, it looked like Clemson's having a problem with that 1-3-1 one, one zone from Georgia Tech. That's one of the things we talked with Brad Barnell as he said, nifty pass over to Jordan Usher from Jose Alvarado. And four blocks, so the senior added in different ways to that victory against Wake Forest, the most recent for Georgia Tech. Inside, other side of the rim, and two for Trapp. 40% as a team in the loss to Virginia, 85-50. That was last Saturday. Entry to Sims. One power dribble, switching to the left. Under 12 points per game for Amir Sims, the senior from Palmyra, Virginia, and Blue Ridge High School. And that number leads this Tiger team. Long range three, it's DeVoe. Tied at 12 in the first half. Straight away. Somebody's feeling it. His fifth made three of the season for Wright. Sims, the one-timer, passed into the corner for Newman, right in front of the Georgia Tech bench area. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Georgia Tech is a good shooting team. Fifth in the conference, 47%. And that percentage is going up. Took it away from Rodney Howard, who's in there now, number 24 in white. Pump it up the three and knock it down, Nick Honor. And on the other end, you see Honor coming off that pick and roll. You see Howard not showing, giving him daylight. Harlem stepping back. This is right offensive glass. Against That's dunk number three in the first half. He's showing that he has not shown any effects for that layoff. How about Moses right tonight? Honor, catch, and release. That's in rhythm, and he's ripping the ropes. Hadn't played since early January. This is Moses Wright. Unselfishly kicks it back out into the corner. It's a three. Usher launched it. They're going to have to make up the difference now, and here comes DeVoe. Usher is open again. Same results. Jordan Usher. Four in total from the floor. This is Newman. Ran into the DeVoe roadblock and had to kick it back out. Sims off the miss and he'll clean up the mess. To the dressing room right down the tunnel after turning that ankle. But as Brian mentioned, he's trying to make a hasty return to the ball game. DeVoe, that's a three. You see how serious they are about all the protocols and distancing. The names are on the chairs. You're not going to go to the wrong chair, Brian. They're going to... his mind as soon as he got that he was attacking and I guess if you if you're Clemson you have to find a way to force so you see John Newman comes back with an answer with a three two three-point baskets key contributor in the first half for Clemson right again and he got fouled so Moses Wright is up to 17 points in the half shuttles it to Usher who turns and scores Parham, hesitation, knocked away by Trapp, who recovered defensively. Nice block by Trapp. Oh, how about the up and under and the move? Oh, he's Jordan Usher. For those on the playground, we call that a little bit of a hizzy for the hesitation. <laughs> well, Usher back the other way, and he hits another three. Wow. Talk about an offensive display.
play by both teams of this academic and athletic season. And we congratulate Mr. Swafford and everything that he has meant to this conference. That's coming up on the Toyota Halftime Report. Second effort. It's Sims, and he'll go to the free throw line. Nowhere to go for Sturdivant. Moses right. DeVoe. That's three rattling at home. And again. Our outstanding ACC College Hoops production crew with you. Sims stumbled, got it back to Tyson, launching a three. Trap is over the top to get it and score it. Clemson has the lead as ACC members. That's off the glass. Physics calculated by Moses Wright. DeVoe draws in two defenders, gives it to Wright over the top of the defense and scores. Moses Wright. Usher joins the fray, accelerates and dishes. DeVoe for three. Honor lost it. Alvarado will do it himself and lay it in. Able to fight for it. It seems like right now Georgia Tech active hands using defense to create offense. They go into Sims. Nifty little adjustment to the entry pass. Romir Sims, 13 from the floor and two for two on his three-point attempts. They work it around the perimeter. DeVoe trying to stay perfect. Will. Another three. That's five for five. Michael DeVoe. His right is taken all night as he misses the mark on that shot. Hemingway lines up to three and hits it. And Hemingway is one of those guys, too, that can help them get this game. Sophomore, albeit, from Newburgh, Indiana. And now the steal, and it's Hemingway. Three on two, potentially. Newman. Hello, Newman with the left hand. Clemson back with five unanswered. Inside, Newman was open and just barely got it over the front rim. And you saw a backdoor cut by John Newman. Shot clock is down to six. A lot of dribbling from Sturdivant. Over the defender and scoring as he got it over Chase Hunter. And again, if you're Clemson, that pick and roll action has been working for you. Keep the spacing, attack the rim, force Moses Wright away from the rim. Nice backdoor cut. Their intensity. And you see nice little finish. Well, it looked like he, he almost finished Nick, Nick Honor going to the basket. How about that cut pass by Jose Alvarado? Nice dive by Michael DeVoe. Move Clemson from left to right. Make a pass to get your teammate open. The Sturdivant is open. That's three and it's home now. And the record here at McCamish has been tied tonight. After that most recent three from Sturdivant. It will turn around. Michael DeVoe. DeVoe tees up the three. Count it. Georgia takes on all cylinders right now. We wanted to highlight some looks to uh, Tamir to Sims and then set off for the three-point shot if you have it open. Hemingway the entry. Sims the muscle. And he's got it. Running the floor as they work it around the perimeter. Trap. And under in Oliver, part of that 1990 Final Four team here at Georgia Tech under Bobby Cremins. Sims will swoop in and score. Nice move by Amir Sims. He was able to freeze. So Sims is now 7 of 10 from the floor and 15 points and is the leading scorer tonight for Clemson. That's an easy two to ball. Give him 22 on the night. Fourth time this season that Michael DeVoe has gone over 20 points. Favorable bounce about the Virginia game on Saturday. The only other loss was mid-December at Virginia Tech, 66-60. This is Trap on a three, and he's got it. And 13 of 21 and made threes. One more. Usher. We'll go out and leave a wide open Jordan Usher. 16 points for Jordan Usher. Six of nine from the floor. This is Sims. Quick first step. Right recovered. Tech six of seven of their last seven. Excuse me. And then winning four in a row. 
They lost to Georgia State and Mercer to start the season. That's a distant memory now. It's not sticking. It's penetrate, penetrate, make the other pass, force Clemson to have to help. And they've been spreading Clemson. You see a nice little move uh, near Sims. Came out smoking in the second half, never looked back. Again. Usher, the runner. That's some old school magic from Usher. We talked about how important Alvarado would be tonight. Brian, eight points, three of seven from the floor. Clemson had a chance at a three. They missed that three. And then Georgia Tech completely took control of this game from that point. 83-65. That's now three wins in a row in the series for Georgia Tech, and they've won five in a row. Brian, what a performance tonight from Coach Pastner in the jacket.